Is there anything more satisfying to watch than pixel perfect Lee Sin mechanics? As the most played jungler all time in pro play, the Blind Monk is an icon to the game and has survived every possible shift in the meta for over a decade. If you want to make it as a professional jungler, it's a rite of passage to be able to play Lee Sin at the highest level. Catching 80 carries out of position since 2011, here are the top 10 Lee Sin plays from the competitive scene. This time round, no binding connects. Peanut, he's gonna look for a kill reply. Seven kills, four and a half minutes. Go for it. I mean, the kills are getting traded pretty evenly, but the problem is, look at how much gold is gonna be funneled into this switch. They already took the turns. More fighting top. Oh my word, Peanut's got another. He's on a rampage before five minutes on the clock. Slay's run out of Ooh, mana. Ooh, he went for the smite Q here. Now, Slay looking for the passive auto. Oh, Archie is actually getting pushed oh, really hard for not flashing that initial engage. Peanut, he's getting sucked in here. Sonic okay. Wave connects! Resonating strike for the snipe! <laughs> what can this guy do? 5-0 and oh at 5 minutes? I mean, when you lose that tier 1 and you don't have a lot of wards, it's very scary pushing out these waves. Oh, Judge him for FBI, but it wasn't quick enough, and that means he's just instantly taken down. Oh, that was clean. FBI had flash, but JJ... Lots of gap close, cues the creep, ward jump, and then kick flashes. FBI wasn't ready for that one. Dragon is up though, like you said. You do, it does feel like you have core items on, on most of your important members. Maybe JJ being the... Oh, oh. oh, there it is, right on the scout. He's the guy with most of that. That's a four-man flawless duet. That was insane from doing me at EDG. You've lost this fight. You have to run away. They are relying on plays like this, right? Either Tien finding a sonic wave, getting behind someone, oh. Nuggery flashing in or using that rocket belt, but they're able to find this. KT though, right for Elder. I think this is are running for Baron though right yeah. now, trying to establish vision control and force oh, and KT. The fail tech that ambition steals Baron! Ambition steals the Elder Dragon! He gets away! They're also alive! This is a four Drake Elder Dragon! He lives! Ambition saves the game once again! You didn't need to go for that play. Oh, they're gonna try for another one though, and this one body slam stops the queue. Here comes Valan as well. 2v1 Broxa may have been up more than he can chew. The health bar is running down. The kick, the queue, the second! Get out. That was gorgeous! And there's another one coming as Jackie Love also falls! And once again, this fight by Broxa, incredible. And you can see it stops the damage of the second queue, but he goes aggressive. I think he surprises the IG jungler. And then just the ability to know that there is no way out. The only way is forward. Oh. Styles on him. Uh, I mean, the man had like 20 health and he goes in for the flash kick. He could have looked so silly had he gone down, but he makes it happen. And you got to feel so good about that one. <laughs> Remember when you used to talk about mirror matchups, Papa? Someone's down, as we can tell. Yeah, well, he's going to land here as Taze gets the oh. kickback somehow. That was the safeguard into the kick flash, expecting the flash, Papa. But uh, Summit oh. only used the abscond as he lands the Q. Tarzan had the whoopsie on the top side and then back-to-back -back highlight plays. Cool. You come through everything, Atlas. You get. You sometimes get dropped off early, I think, with uh, the teleport thing. Is uh, Look at that. Changes to get the aftershock proc. Does Summit. Goes over. And then here we go. Where's he at? He's near the blast plant. Of course, catches in midair on the blast plant. Getting in position for that oh slicing maelstrom. Oh my. Dandy getting this is position behind. Oh, I think Bang's in trouble. There's a kick. They kick him in. Oh, the death sentence. Mata nearly comes in. There's the box. And MVP Ozone is going to absolutely slaughter an absolutely flawless setup in team fight. That was I, probably the best team fight I've ever I seen. I have never seen a five-man Lee Sin home before where he kicked, he kicked one person and then knocked up four others. That was absolutely insane engagement. That was the best team fight I've ever seen. I'm that just was calling it right now. Mind-blowingly good. 
now dragging down to about 2,000 HP. They're going with the Solar Flare. Doesn't land onto anybody. There's the Equalizer trying to fade off, but it is FDX to pick up their third Dragon and Soul Point. The Moonfall is good, but look at Gala. He's just free hitting. Gala's getting all these feathers down. The Jace is dead. They're going to be able to take down the Diana as well, but Doonby picks up two out of nowhere, and three for Doonby. This man is ridiculous. Oh, he does Four it. for Doonby. A Penta kill for Doonby. That was insane. And we see so much wasted onto Tien in the back. We're going to see Doonby going in, what, chaining with, with Tien's Moonfall, looking really nice to all start off with. But this one, it starts looking so good for RNG. As you're saying, Gala is just being able to free hit Xiao, who now taking out LWX. But Doonby still incredibly strong. Goes from that Q, and then right here, W's into the flash to, to close the distance. Doesn't want Xiao, whose cooldowns to come back up. Looking for what picks he can, but RNG currently have the midway. Pick up the flash of Vulcan. Oh, flash away from Xiao Hu. Feather Storm. There's the stopwatch. Butch has the flash kick. Dragon's Rage. He gets in. He gets Gala. And the Killer Instinct Collector combo. What's a god to budge? A beautiful secure on that kill. C9 sees it a window. Three versus five. They can go for this play. Gala's forced to use his ultimate very early. And then look at this play from Fudge. He's going to use the Q, Warthog, Flash, Kick, oh, it's Man. So good. Beautiful. That is what we want to be seeing from Fudge. C9 is forcing it. They're flipping this. 100% a flip. They don't know the canyon's there. Vulcan's going to put a ward across the wall, and now canyon maybe spotted out for the second. Canyon goes in way too early. Can they kill oh! it before he gets it? But canyon secures the Baron. The bullet time smite combination was enough. Canyon will die for it. Just watch canyon. He's the only player you need to keep your eyes on right now. Knows that Vulcan is going to try and CC him out, so he's got to do something unpredictable. Goes in, kicks Blabber out. The MF ultimate does more than enough damage to allow him to get the smite secure, and there's nothing that Blabber can do about it. What a crazy play that he made. Tries to flash out the safety, and then the collapse comes through. 